This is an unboxing of the PC Power and Cooling Silencer MK2 High Performance Power Supply. This is an 80 plus silver SLI certified power supply with a 7 year warranty and it is 950 watts. Big box, heavy box is usually a pretty good indication of a power supply if it's, if it's nice and heavy. Got a single 12 volt rail which is what I'm looking for. 88% efficiency, 135 millimeter uh, fan. So this is uh, delivering stable power at a high temperature rating of 50 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. Okay, on the back here, we've got their claims to fame here. Okay, let's get in there and see what we've got. Okay, so first we've got the manual. Seems to be pretty standard. This little protector. Nice padded foam. Some zip ties. Well, not really zip ties, these are different. They are uh, definitely reusable, more like some cable ties. Got a nice, thick, heavy-duty, heavy-gauge uh, power cord here. And then, unfortunately, this is not a modular power supply, so we are going to get a tangled mess. Which is, wow, I'm kind of shocked here. Um, anyway, let's take that off and count it out. Also have some nice set of uh, chrome thumb screws. Alright, so on this part of the connector we have, make sure I get this in camera. Let's try to find the... 20. Here we go. We've got the 20 plus 4. We'll get that out of the way. Then we've got this is a 4 plus 4 CPU. And then also an 8 pin. Now we've got 1 6 plus 2, 2 6 plus 2, 3 6 plus 2, 4 6 plus 2. 5 and 6. So there's 6, 6 plus 2. So that should support a wide variety of cards. And depending on the card, you might even get Tri SLI out of that, depending on how much it needs. It should be pretty easy to get Tri SLI actually, unless you've got some major setup. Now, on the peripheral side, we've got there's a main stretch of one, two, three, four, five cables coming out of the power supply. And start with this one here. It's got wow, this is about overkill. One, two, three, there's four SATAs, and then five, six, seven, eight. And 9, 10, 11, 12. And then, so there's 12 SATAs over 3. So there's um, 3, 4 port SATA powers. And then we've got 2 Molexes with 1, 2, 3. Yep, 2 with 3. And then each of them have a... Uh, oh, excuse me. One of them has a floppy... Um, power connector on the end and the other one has a Molex. So there's one three plus floppy and then one four. So there's quite the octopus here, which is really unfortunate that they would make a 950 watt power supply with all of these cables. 
gosh, it just seems to me that that should be illegal. Yeah, so this will be a real bitch to tidy up inside of the case. And then here is the power supply itself. Like I said it before, it feels pretty hefty, even without the two miles of cables. That's the side. Saw that. And the other side. And over here. This thing is just a pain in the butt to deal with. So we can get this up there. Max continuous power is actually a thousand watts, so there is the breakdown. At 3.35 and 12. The max peak power is 1080. So this guy is very well suited for the job of powering a hell of a gaming system. You just really have to get by this. Let me actually see if I can get this all in, in the camera at once. See if I can if I can catch this or not. There we go. Let's see if I can show this cluster here. That's I mean that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Um I'm a pretty big fan of PC power and cooling, but wow, um, you know, six, six plus twos, 12 SATAs, uh, I think I counted, what, four, seven Molex, uh, the 20 plus four, and then the four plus four and the eight. I mean, that guy there is just, that's, that's a bit, that's probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen, um, not being modular. Yeah, I, I, I think I would highly recommend when you when you start getting into, boy, that 800 plus watt, maybe even 700 plus watt power supply, I would just recommend the extra money going towards a modular one, uh, you know, it, unless you're going to use all of these, which I just can't, I can't see many configurations that would use all of this. You did... A Tri SLI, you could probably pull all of those for graphics cards or, or classified uh, GTX 580s. I know they take um, two 8 pins and one 6 pin. So you could do a SLI classified GTX 580. Uh, you could use that and then you could have like, you know, 12 hard drives there and, and more fans than you can shake a stick at. Uh, there's just so many connectors there. I can definitely see this being just a little bit of a hassle uh, inside of a smaller case, like a a just a full tower. If you had a super tower, you know, or or like a mountain mods cube case or something ascension from mountain mods that has place to hide all of these wires, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of my opinion. Uh, I think a lot of people sh should agree with that, that this is kind of a, a cluster. But if you've got the space in your case, um, like I, I, I think really highly of PC power and cooling, so I would, uh, you know, I would not, you know, completely um, not recommend this. It's just, man, it could really use some serious modular cabling. But anyway, that's my uh, look and review of this silencer mk2 950 watt power supply from pc power and cooling thanks everybody for watching